Join the conversation. 105.5 Talk Radio with Danny Mallard. You are tuned into 105.5 Talk Radio and you're very welcome. Coming up, we have our relationship hour. There are still some spaces on the board, not less up, so if you have anything you want to discuss, romantic, legal, or even sexual, then call now on 0808. Hello, love. A dinner will be about 20 minutes. I think I'll, um... I think I'll go and tinker with the lawnmower, see if I can't get it working. All right, love. healed nicely right okay well thanks for your call sandra and we will take our next caller hello welcome to the conversation who am i talking to hello is that me who am i talking to hello yes you're live on the radio oh, uh, hello I, I told your person I, I don't want to use my real name um what shall i call you it doesn't matter right okay let's go with brian uh no no not brian that's a little too close to barry oh <sighs> Barry? Yes! Oh. oh, never mind, love. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Hello? Sorry about that. Hello, yes. Uh, Sorry, we lost you there for a second. Jorge. I'm sorry? You can call me Jorge. Right. Uh, what's the problem, Jorge? Um, well, this is a little awkward for me, actually. I don't usually share personal... Oh, no, no, no. There are no judgments here. This is relationship hour. I am just here uh, to listen. OK. Um, well, it's my wife. She's, um... I don't, I don't actually know how to put it. Just tell me in your own words. <sighs> Okie dokie. Um, well, uh, she's, um... She's a bit of a cunt. Yep. OK, so obviously, apologies to any listeners who found that offensive. Um, Jorge, you can't use that kind of language. Sorry. Not on the radio. Consider this your first yellow. Next one, you're off. I should never have called. Jorge, you should have called. Just keep a lid on it. <sighs> do you and your wife argue? Argue? No. No, we don't do anything. We don't argue. We don't even talk. We definitely don't... You know... <laughs> Have sex? Mm, have sex. She's got this annoying face. It's not annoying like weird looking. I mean, it is weird looking, but I don't mind that so much. It's more like she's judging me. She's disappointed in me. I can tell. OK. Don't even get me started on my son. I don't know what hope he's got in life. Barely got his GCSEs. Such a thicko. Can't even say he can rely on his looks. When he was dropped as a baby, it must have been on his face. I love him, of course. But he's a circus freak. Wowie. I'll call you when dinner's ready, love. Uh, maybe we should come back around to your wife. Well, she's a terrible cook. OK. Everything she cooks is bland. OK. I mean, has she even heard of seasoning? Do you know what? I'd rather just swallow a pill like an astronaut. Do you help with the cooking? Her mother is awful. Right. That was the happiest day of my life when she died. Um... I had dreams, you know. I went to art college. I was creative. But... Oh, no. We need a house, furniture. We need a widescreen TV. We need a holiday. You know what? Now, mm. all I've got are fleeting moments of happiness on my own, in a cold, dark shed, pretending to fix things. They're not even broken. And wondering, have I got a sexual attraction to the cat? I'm sorry. Y y you know what? Um, Jorge, uh, it sounds like you might need professional the help. The thing is, now that I'm talking about it, now that I'm saying it out loud for the first time, well, she didn't ask for any of that. Thanks for your call, we Jorge. used to have fun. I used to make her laugh. <laughs> I did. We'd talk about books we'd read, about movies we'd watch together, we'd debate politics. We used to make love for hours <laughs> and hours and hours and hours and hours Go on. and hours... Hoy. Somewhere along the way, well, the years have just rolled by and suddenly we're old. We've stopped making the effort. Uh, 
as, as I stop making the effort, the truth is, I'm the problem. I'm not a very good husband. I, I, I'm a terrible father. I haven't given them the life that I promised I'd give them. And if I could do it all over again, I would make my family the centre of my world. And I would fill their lives with so much love that they would explode. <laughs> I think with love. I think that is the perfect place to end that. Um, thank you, Jorge. And we'll be back with more in just a moment. Do you need any help? One of them all. <laughs> the times that we're together. The laughter that we share. Make the memories that we I hope we put some salt in that. Where's the cat? Oh hey. Oh hey. Yes, there's something about love. I use the correct amount of seasoning in every meal. I love this dance so Through heartache and stress, yes, there's something about love. hour and my producer has been frankly inundated with texts and tweets about our last caller our listeners are worried about the well-being of Jorge so we've got him back on the line to continue the conversation Jorge Jorge are you there Jorge Jorge Hiya. Hello. Oh God, I'm so embarrassed. Sorry. Sorry. Am I worried you're listening? No, no, no. Bollocks. Yes, there's something about love. I love that stands for it. Yes, there's something about a love. 